Hello everybody, it's Jackal Goldkick here and I'm going to be making a video about my Blu-ray collection. Now, when it comes to my Blu-ray collection, I only have four Blu-ray movies total. And the reason I only have four Blu-ray movies total is because I'm not a consistent Blu-ray collector. Meaning that I don't always get movies on Blu-ray. I don't get them all the time on Blu-ray. Every now and then, once in a while, when I feel like it or when I'm in the mood, I will get a certain movie on Blu-ray. But... I'm not a consistent collector of Blu-ray movies, so that's why my collection is super small. This is only going to be like a, you know, my mini Blu-ray collection video. So this won't be a super long video. I won't have to go through a lot of Blu-ray movies. It's only four Blu-ray movies, but I still figured it's worth making a video about and just something to talk about. So yeah, I'm going to show my Blu-ray collection, the mini one I have, which is just four movies. I don't know if I'll be doing other Blu-ray I don't know if I'll be doing other videos in the future where I'll talk about, you know, my Blu-ray collection more. This might just be a one-time thing. It all depends on how many Blu-ray movies I have in the future or how many more I've gotten. It just all depends on that. So I don't know if this will be a continuing thing on my channel. This might just be a one-time thing. We'll see. But I'm going to show my Blu-ray collection. Let's get started. So the first Blu-ray movie I'll show is Taken. Taken is a great film. If you don't know what this movie is or what it's about, basically it's about Liam Neeson's character, a.k.a. Brian Mills. He has to go to Paris. I believe it's Paris. He goes to Paris and he has to rescue his daughter that was kidnapped. That's basically the plot of this movie. It's a really good movie. I like it a lot. It's one of Liam Neeson's best movies. It has an iconic scene in it that probably everybody knows that was on the internet. It's basically the scene where he's on the phone and he says... I will find you and I will kill you. That's pretty much what everybody knows from this movie. It's a super popular scene. But uh, yeah, this is Taken. I don't have Taken 2 and 3. I pr I'll probably never get the Taken sequels on Blu-ray because I really didn't like those sequels. They were Taken 2 and 3. They were nowhere near as good as Taken 1. But yeah, this is the, the first Blu-ray movie I have. Taken, it's a great film. Great Blu-ray quality as well. It is a really good Blu-ray. It looks beautiful. Comes with some good extras. You got a theatrical and unrated version of this film on this Blu-ray. You know, you get special features, audio commentary, stuff like that. So, yeah, this is taken on Blu-ray. Really good movie. As a Blu-ray, quality is really good. I've seen it, I think, two or... I've seen it once or twice on the Blu-ray, but I've seen it before that as well. Really great film. One of Liam Neeson's best. Liam Neeson's a great actor. If you haven't seen this movie, I recommend it. I also recommend getting it on Blu-ray. It's a fantastic movie. It's an awesome movie, and I like it a lot. So, yeah. The next movie I'll show in my Blu-ray collection is The Crow. Now, I need to watch this movie again and see how I feel about it. Because, you know, I, I kind of feel conflicted on it if I liked it as much as I remember liking it. So, you know, I'll see about that when I eventually rewatch it. But for the most part, I remember really liking The Crow. I seen it on Netflix. I liked the hell out of the movie. Um, it's based this movie, The Crow. It's basically about a guy who, him and his wife are murdered, and he comes back from the dead and has to seek revenge on those people who killed him and his wife. Basically, a revenge movie. And I'm pretty sure this is based off a comic book. This movie is. I think yeah, it is. So this is basically like a comic book movie, and it's a really good comic book movie. It has a dark gothic tone to it and it's awesome this is a really good movie brandon lee kills it in this performance as the crow character um unfortunately this was brandon lee's last movie as I'm, i don't remember i don't know which scene it is specifically but there's one scene in this movie where he gets shot and the gun was actually real and he actually did die so that is really sad it's a shame brandon lee died rest in peace you know he had potential as an actor. He definitely did. This was a good movie. I did see the movie he did with uh, Dolph Lundgren. That was a really cool movie as well. This was great as well. But as a final movie, you know, when he died, this was one hell of a movie. Like for a final movie for an actor who died, this is one hell of a final movie, I think. But it is a shame that Brandon Lee died. Rest in peace to Brandon Lee. Um, he had a lot of potential as an actor, and if he was still alive... I can only imagine the amount of great movies he did. We probably would have gotten some sequels to this. Who knows? Um, but yeah, The Crow, great film. I like the goth gothic dark tone. And I think The Crow's look himself is fucking awesome. I like the white face paint and the black look on there. It's just a cool, cool look. And it's a creative-ass look. I love the look of The Crow. It's fantastic. I'm pretty sure... I, I think the wrestler Sting got his inspiration from this look. But yeah, this is a pretty good Blu-ray. You know, you have special features... 
stuff like that. Basically what DVD and Blu-rays always have, the special features. But yeah, The Crow, great movie. It's a great comic book movie. And uh, from what I remember, the Blu-ray quality is really good. So if you haven't seen The Crow, definitely get this. It's a fantastic movie. If you like Sin City, like I do, I'm pretty sure you'll like this movie. Uh, it's a fantastic film. Definitely watch it. And if you like it, definitely get it on Blu-ray. And I almost forgot how I got this movie on Blu-ray. I got this at Best Buy. I, I think I forgot to, uh, I don't know if I said it already, but with these two movies, I think I forgot to say it for Taken, but... How I got uh, Taken and The Crow on Blu-ray is I got these both at Best Buy on one of my birthdays. Yeah, I got both of these at Best Buy on one of my birthdays. That's how I got these Blu-ray movies. I apologize because I forgot to say it for the Taken movie. But yeah, got these both on, got these both at Best Buy on one of my birthdays. Sorry if I'm not as solid as I am in my videos. You know, I'm very rusty when it comes to video making because I haven't done this in a while. So I'm not exactly on my A game. But let's just continue with this video. The next Blu-ray movie I'll show is The Collector. Now, before I got this on Blu-ray, I did see this movie for free. But after seeing it for free, I got it on Blu-ray. I did buy it off Amazon. This, this movie, The Collector, this is one of the best modern horror movies ever, in my opinion. It's fucking awesome. You got an interesting plot. Basically, it's about this guy, this thief. He goes into this house that he was working on, and he tries to take... He tries to rob it and take a, uh, he takes, a, I think, a ruby from it or something. And he tries to take it from there, but he ends up trapped in this house with the serial killer. And he has booby traps everywhere. There's people in danger. Uh, the main character has to try to escape, but he also wants to save people. It's a really good home invasion movie. I wish I had the sequel. Eventually, I have to get the sequel on Blu-ray because this is one of those movies where you have to see the sequel afterwards. The way the ending of this movie is, you just have to see the sequel. The sequel for this movie has one of the most satisfying endings I have ever seen for horror movies. It is fucking great. But yeah, The Collector, this is a fantastic movie. Uh, shout out to Joshua Stewart. I think that's how you say his name. Joshua Stewart is a great actor. He's a very underrated actor. And I hope he finds more success. And I hope he's able to do more movies. And he's able to get more notice because I think Joshua Stewart is really good and he's great in this movie and another thing I like about the collector is the main character is smart I hate horror movies where they got to have characters making stupid decisions gets on my nerves but as for the collector the main character is actually smart he makes smart decisions it's more realistic it's what people would actually do in a horror situation but yeah if you haven't seen the collector I highly highly recommend you check this movie out it's a fantastic horror movie it kind of feels like Saw in a way. It's a great home invasion horror movie. It's got an interesting plot, a smart main character, crazy serial killer. This is a great horror movie. It's one of the best modern horror movies I have seen. It is from like 2008 or 9, so it is a little bit old, but I still consider it a modern horror movie. If you haven't seen The Collector, I highly recommend you watch The Collector. Get it on Blu-ray. You know, this movie is underrated as well, I think. This movie does not get enough attention or not, not enough credit. This is a great horror movie. It's fantastic. I showed it to one of my friends. He enjoyed it as well. So uh, if you haven't seen The Collector, definitely check it out. This movie is fantastic. The Blu-ray is really good. It's got special features. It's got deleted scenes, all that jazz. But yeah, The Collector, great movie. One of the best modern horror movies ever. I can't recommend it enough. It's fantastic. Joshua Stewart has a great performance in here. I need to get the sequel eventually. But yeah, The Collector, great film. Great Blu-ray as well. Sorry that, uh, sorry that was a little bit long. I try to, you know, with these Blu-ray movies I'm talking about, I don't want to go on forever because I'm just showing Blu-ray movies I own. But The Collector is a really good movie, so I was a, I, I talked a little bit longer than I wanted to. Yeah. And the last Blu-ray movie I'll show is End of Watch. Now, out of all the Blu-ray movies I own, this is probably my least favorite. I remember seeing this movie a while ago, and I, I didn't remember if I loved it or not. But I decided to get it on Blu-ray. I do like Jake Gyllenhaal. He's a great actor. And, you know, this movie is... It's alright, you know. I didn't... When I watched this movie on Blu-ray, I didn't really care for it. I found it to be, you know, kind of boring. It just wasn't super interesting to me. The plot is basically these two cops. It basically is about, you know... It it, it kind of tries to depict how, real, how it is for real cops. That's basically how it is. And I just... You know, I didn't find it super interesting as a movie. It's not really a favorite of mine. Um, I think the chemistry between Jake Gyllenhaal and Michael Pina is really cool. 
but it just wasn't a huge favorite of mine. The ending is really sad, but End of Watch wasn't a huge favorite of mine. I did get this off Amazon, but wasn't a huge fan of End of Watch. Not a huge favorite. Um, if I seen this before again, before getting it on Blu-ray, I probably wouldn't have got it on Blu-ray. But uh, yeah, it, it, you know, it's just not my type of movie. Not really a big fan of it, but I do have it on Blu-ray. Blu-ray quality is pretty good. It's got some, you know, good bonus features and stuff like that. It is from the writer of Training Day, and Training Day is a good movie, but just just not a huge fan favorite of this movie. I thought the plot and the overall movie it just didn't really, you know, leave me with a feeling of, oh, this is a great movie. I just didn't care much for this movie. Just my opinion, didn't care much for this movie, but still my Blu-ray collection. So that's it for my Blu-ray collection. Like I said, I only have four Blu-ray movies, so... Um, the video actually did end up being long. You see, whenever I say a video is going to be long, it, en it ends up being longer than I said it wasn't going to be long, if that makes sense. It always happens, you know, but because I never I never can predict how long I'll talk. But that's it for my Blu-ray collection. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you collect Blu-ray movies. Let me know your thoughts on any, any of these Blu-ray movies as well. That's it. Peace.